Good morning and welcome to the Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Chanley Rochel. And I'm Kinsey Bracken. Today is Thursday, October 15th, 2020. Chanley, why are we on a day early? Because tomorrow starts fall break. We are at a school Friday and Monday. Awesome. What's the cafeteria serving today? The cafeteria is serving breaded chicken patty on a bun, lettuce and tomato, steamed carrots and fruit. Sounds good. Last week, our fourth and fifth grade played in the first basketball game of the season at Granfield. Our reporter Cal Kyler Sears, Sears talked to Coach Powers about how the game went and what look to look forward to this season. Here's Kyler. Thanks guys, I'm Kyler Sears with Coach Powers. Coach Powers, how did the game go last week? Last week was our first fourth and fifth grade ball game. We went to Granfield, uh, both boys and girls. We have 24 girls out and around 17, 18 boys out this year. So we have good numbers, which is awesome. Uh, Coach Hill and I really like to, to see our kids get, in, get involved at a young age. The, the games went well. They, um, our kids were a little nervous, you know, first game out. But um, overall, they did well. They competed and played hard and um, had good ball games. Talk about why we started basketball for fourth and fifth grade this year. Well, now sixth grade is considered middle school, so they play sixth and seventh grade basketball. In the past, we've played fifth and sixth grade basketball as well, and that just got a little hectic for our sixth graders um, and for us to try to schedule both middle school and elementary ball games. So this year, we're, uh, we are doing fourth and fifth grade games. We have five games. Uh, as a basketball coach, we feel that it's important to have our young guys get involved and start learning the ropes and the rules and um, I think and how to compete uh, on the basketball court. So we want to get them out there and help them to learn fundamentals and understand it's fun and how to compete and how to play together. Um, our fourth and fifth grade will be playing against some sixth graders at times but we feel like that's just gonna make them better and um, so we're looking forward to this year. Why do you think it's important for us to start basketball at, as early as fourth grade? It's important so that we can start learning skills and fundamentals of basketball in the fourth grade so that they have several years of, of the, the skill work and the fundamentals um, so that when they get into junior high, we can um, add to that and we can already have the basic um, fundamentals of basketball taught and introduced to those young guys. Thank you Coach Powers and I'm back to you in the studio. Thank you. Thank you Kyler and Coach Powers. Our next game, the next fourth and fifth grade game will be after fall break at Warica. Now let's take a look at your week in Bulldog Sports with Kinsley Johnson. Hello Bulldog Nation. Kinsley Johnson here with some Bulldog Sports. Tonight the Empire F Bulldogs football team is at home against the Snyder Cyclones. Tonight is also pink out, so wear your brightest pink in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The high school football team started district's plays last week at Timpton in a hard fought game. The Bulldogs came out on top winning 34 to 18. That wraps up your week in sports. Now we're to Mahala Gamla for some weather updates. Good morning. I'm Mahala Gamblin with your Bulldog Broadcast Weather. This weekend, look for cooler temperatures. Tomorrow, look for a breezy north winds with a high in the, in the mid to upper 60s. Saturday and Sunday will be ready for a warm-up with highs in the mid to upper 70s with a strong south winds. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your fall break and stay safe. Now back to our broadcast booth. Thank you, Mahala, for the weather update. That's all the time we have this week. Fall break is here. Enjoy your four-day weekend, Bulldogs, until next time. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in to your Bulldog, Bulldog broadcast. broadcast.